So let's go to God. Okay. Now if there is God, and who is this God, and what he is for, I can tell you very cliché. Why God let Hitler to kill so many people and children and this and that? Why God let what's done now in Biafra or other places in the world? Where is God, uh, where he stands against evil, poverty or something else? Looking, you know, looking around, seeing all these miracles in our life. Seeing an animal, a tiny animals, how they live and how they continue their lives. Knowing the body, this, the thousand secrets of the body that we have, the mind, the soul, the dreams. It's not understood. We are too limited to understand them. So you have to hold a great power, stronger than you, bigger than you, larger than you, wiser than you, to say that he is organized all this thing. He is running in general this, uh, this universe. So in that aspect, I'm a believer. But now when you touch the point, if it's God or superpower, I'm using the word superpower. I'm using superpower. I'm using some power that I don't know if he exists, but I know that I, I fail to understand what's going on here. So maybe there is a superpower, who knows, and who set up the rules. Maybe the, uh, even the rules are not so satisfactory for me or for you. straight to number one. You know, people say that death makes the life so important, so treasure and giving you the balance without death, everything would be totally different. And uh, I mean, take all these things into consideration. Death is a very bad thing that happened to us. We don't want to die. We want to live, we want to, to remain young, and we want to be vivid, and we want to be healthy, and we want to uh, live our life, and death is a terrible thing that happened. It's total loss, of course, and uh, it's ongoing longing for uh, people you, you, you lost. I don't like that. I have 
afterlife? Huh? Afterlife? After death? I don't believe that there is afterlife. It's a wonderful uh, illusion to have. I would love to believe that there is afterlife. I don't see the meaning of that. Or well, how come? Why, why I should be destroyed as a body and live in another life? And what type of the other life? Let's, you know, people would like to detour the terrible fact that they are going to die, so they invented God, they invented the other life, they invented this, they invented that. All this is uh, a substitute to life. Illusions. So you are in essence, an existentialist, like Sartre explained in his yeah, books. Yeah, yeah. Are you seen in this country as an existentialist? I don't know how I'm seen and I don't bother with that. Sometimes I don't know who I am too. But uh, it doesn't bother me. People judge you uh, from their own uh, beliefs and uh, minds and philosophy. There is no uh, objective uh, judgments. What you leave behind you speaks for itself if you have something to say. And even there everybody interprets what you wrote or what you uh, painted uh, um, his own way and from his uh, uh, perspective and soul and mind and, uh, and aspirations. Thank you very much. Uh, you didn't ask me questions about um, uh, literature at all. Should I? I think so. Or, or, or maybe I missed that. Shalom, Ruti. Alhamdulillah, Shukran. I'm gonna